Hello and welcome back to Cardboard Decoy Plays Dark Souls. We are continuing our explorations of the depths. Oh, he. We're not gonna fight those slimes right now. I'll ignore them. Until what point that uh, comes that I need to actually focus on leveling up a few things and uh, grinding up uh, weapon upgrades, basically. What? I mean, you could either. I, I'm trying to think. I don't think you can buy any large Titanite shards. Oh, okay. Easy. Easy. Oh, I'm poisoned. <laughs> God damn it. So annoying. Okay. What? Uh, okay. Alright. And stab. I'm doing so bad against rats. Okay. And there's another humanity over here. Yay. Yeah, this was, uh, for me, this was like the first time I started really getting an idea of how bullshit difficult this game can be. And it, it was mostly because of the, the catacomby nature of this area and like trying to figure everything out and then just dying constantly because of it. So, and not knowing where I was going or what was going on. And, uh, I was like, there was real terror involved with the, the first time I explored this area, especially since you know you've got a giant rat to fight there. I didn't know about the actual boss that was coming up. That was even scarier after a point. And then, um, yeah, basically the whole thing was just a massive clusterfuck for me for a long time. All right, that channeler's dead, so we can actually go this way without too many qualms. Still have to figure out how to negotiate this rat situation here. Now, oh, we're gonna... he's gonna pull. That makes things a little bit easier for us. Oh, he's gonna jump as well. There we go. Oh, it only takes him two hits. That's fine. Estus up. The poison is slowly taking away at our health. And, whoa, okay. Try not to get in a situation where I die a particularly ignominious death. Okay. So, if I'm playing a little... Playing it a little safe, then, uh... Please, excuse me. I am not a super badass. Alright, yay, more humanity. I will take all the humanity you will give me, because I don't want to farm. So, I can't remember. Is there... Okay, there's rats over here. <laughs> that was a nice little startle. There we go. Uh, another Estus. I hate this. Dwindling Estus supply. Alright. I no longer trust boxes. And, uh... Yes. Okay. Large Titanite chart. Perfect. So, we did get the large ember, which means we can upgrade our winged spear even higher if we so choose. Um, higher than five, which we haven't even gotten to yet. So, that's neither here nor there at the moment. Yep, you've been stabbed. So sorry. I don't even know what killed me over there. Like, I didn't see it on the screen, so it must have, like, jumped by and killed me or something. Hi, rat. Whoa. Give me the humanity. Humanity. Oh, the huge manatee. Alright. Mmm. Trying to remember. I don't know where all the, the actual falling areas are, so I'm trying to walk carefully, remember, and kill things all at the same time. It's tough. It's a real hard life I've got. Okay. Whoa. Soul of a Nameless Soldier. There's uh, some stuff up there, which I think... Aha! There's a drop. Okay. We are going to drop down there eventually, but not right now. I don't want to do it. I'm scared. I hate that down there area. Uh, is that where I came from? Yeah, it is. Over here is a pile of goo. pile of goop. Oh, no, it's a slime. Okay. I thought it was a background destructible terrain situation. But that is not the case. Alright. Oh, you just can't have a game without a fucking slime monster. It's uh, against the law, basically. It'd be nice if they actually dropped the shit they're supposed to drop. And uh, that's not enough space to jump. I'm a giant chicken shit, so... Let's go back over here. That's the one thing I hated about Dark Souls 2, is they change up the jump mechanic, like the way you jump. So I'm all used to jumping the way that you jump in this game and finally figure out how to execute it appropriately and then they they switch it to like this weird push down left stick kind of method and uh whoa get ho oh, oh. <laughs> that was very sudden and i was not prepared for it okay cool well we are gonna fight the giant rat eventually so here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna do this the super hacks way we're gonna go the long way back um and, uh, bear with me here. I know what I'm doing. And more or less. Whoop. Okay. I almost tried the Dark Souls 2 method of jumping there, and that would have been really, really sad. Okay. We Go back this way. I'm lost. Hold on. God, the thing is not pretty, is it? 
Uh, wait, where the fuck am I? Okay, I'm here. So let's go this way. Yeah, I hate this. Blind hallways, pitfalls that lead you to areas where you can face a fate worse than death. Uh, rats everywhere. I mean, this place has got it all, and not in a good way whatsoever. Okay, hold on. We gotta go all the way back over here. I'm gonna refill my Estus flasks, and then we'll we'll kind of rush the next area. This isn't necessary by any stretch of the imagination, but there is there's treasures to get, and uh, it'll improve the. Oh hey, is that a? That's a. NPC or a person? I think it's an NPC because it's gold. Alright. Whoa. Okay. See, now they're not dropping on my head immediately. So, fuck those guys, basically. Alright. Uh, kill these guys real quick. I know. This is maybe a little boring. Yeah. Alright. We'll try to hopefully make short work of these things. Alright. Yeah. Two. Uh, uh. Uh, fortunately, I like can hit more than one of them at a time, which speeds up the process considerably. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you know what? Oh, I should level up. I didn't think of that. Oh well, I'll freaking I'll I'll be a man about it. I always see these people playing with like millions of souls, and I'm like, you know, I could get that good one day, but today is not that day. <laughs> Uh, not today, Dark Souls. I'm not good at you yet. Okay. Giant rat shouldn't be that difficult. It shouldn't. I mean, famous last words and all that, but uh, as far as I can tell, I it's one of those, I'm either going to beat him and uh, I totally overthink it and he's easier than I remember because I've actually had some more experience playing the game, or, you know, he just completely catches me off guard and I die in the worst way possible, mm, worst way possible and uh, it sucks, basically. So we're going to ignore that. Oh, do, do. Where are we going? We're going up here. Here's where we're going. I want to get back to where that first butcher was. That's the current plan of action here. Yep, nope, you're not getting me. Uh, doggies. All right. Oh, dodge, will ya? Only I could do the cool dodge rolls. You, you are not allowed to do that. Oh, you ass. Oh, oh my god. I am losing my patience. You see that meter down there? That's my patience running out. No, not really, but... Let's see. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, nice little jab there. Did a ton of damage. Oh my god. I fucking hate these things. There we go. Okay, taken care of. Up the stairs. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, we have a doggy. Make sure he doesn't try to follow us down and complicate matters. Okay. And then we go over here. Jumping off. Rating zero. There we go. I approve of this message. It's a good message. Uh, where are we at on time? Oh yeah, we're just barely getting into this episode. Let's go down here. Ooh, bones! Ooh, bones. Alright, now there's... Yeah, there's an item over there. How do I get over there? This is the main... The main reason I wanted to jump down here to do this. Is uh, so I can go grab this really quick before fighting the giant rat down there. Now we have no choice but to face the rat. So, you know. Let's just get it over with, basically. Yeah, face me. That's fine. Okay. We'll grab that. Spider shield. Oh, eh, spider shield is meh. Are you... Where are you? Where can I jump down and hit you, basically? Okay. Ooh. Where is charcoal pine resin? Uh, Estus. Find a good place to leap down at him. I'm trying to see. Could I do it if I do, like, a leaping strong attack? Will that work? Alright. Charcoal pine resin. Alright. And... Yes! Okay, half his health. That's about what I wanted. Okay, he's big and strong. 
Okay, he's definitely whoa, dwindling away at my whoa, stamina very quickly. Alright, that's just flask up. Whoa. Oh, he's going to leap at me. But fortunately, he doesn't do a whole lot of damage, so it looks like uh, the first case scenario is the case. Okay, well, he's going to knock me back in this hallway, which is as good as anywhere. Let me drink that. Fortunately, enemies don't, like, recover health whenever you chicken out like that. Whoa. Okay, now I do, like, no damage without the charcoal pine resin, so that's good to know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it's because I switched my weapon somehow by accident. Okay, don't fucking die to this thing. Whoop. And... Estus Flask. Let's catch him at the beginning of his animation cycle here. Okay. Ah, that was dumb. And I was bad at it. I'm being a huge chicken shit. Whoop. There we go. Stab. And he's dead. Tamed! Humanity! Hooray! Okay, cool. So what do we want to do? We want to make sure we get everything from in here. Yep. Soul of a Nameless Soldier. Fine. And then we want to find that shortcut. And we have to go down here to get to it, though. I'm like, Jesus Christ. This always makes me super nervous, because, like, I get closer and closer to having, like, this really cool number of souls, and then... The possibility of me losing them just gets better and better, or worse and worse, or, you know, whatever the appropriate uh, moniker is. Oh, shit. Okay, we have to do this area first, do we? Shit. Oh, my God. Okay. Do not get cursed. That's the goal. All right. Oh, we're getting cursed. Okay. Curse is super bad. Like, if you wanted to make a more horrifying creature than the venomous head crabs. This game did it. Like, whenever you're playing through Half-Life 2 and you hear that little rattlesnake sound and you see those head crabs, like, you are fucking terrified. Okay, and now we have a Dark Spirit Kirk. That's good. Uh, fortunately, he's an NPC, so he shouldn't be that tough. Whoa. Alright. Okay. Well, if I make stupid decisions, it's gonna be bad. Alright. Man, ruining his balance is actually really hard. Okay. I'm trying not to take too many chances here. Like with parries and reposts and everything, so... Whoa. Okay, that was bad. Okay, fortunately he doesn't know what his range is either. Alright. Alright, he's gonna charge. Okay, there's another charge attack. Ah, dang it, I messed up the repost part of the deal. Oh, there we go. He's dead. Good stuff. Now we're going to get like a million souls. Yeah, that's a lot. Humanity acquired. Okay, good. I don't know how I started getting cursed there. I don't know if he's got like a curse weapon or if there's some sort of ambient gas over there I wasn't aware of. Okay, cool. And, yes. We basically want to get to a place where we can get to that shortcut, which I believe is right around the corner here. And then we'll go explore the Basilisk area, just for completion's sake. And uh, also to face my incredible fear of said Basilisks, uh, because my fear of them is quite mighty. But we made it back to this bonfire, which is important, naturally. Okay. Yay, shortcut! Wah, wah, wah. <clears throat> oh, man. I gotta remember to get water in between episodes. <coughs> oh, bleh, bleh. Yeah, that's just right down there. That's fine. Cool. So we'll level up and do all of that fun stuff, too. Okay. Level up. Uh, 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 okay. And then we have enough for more. There we go. I need more hit points. Let's try to get above 800. And I could probably, yeah, do all of this. Yeah. Aw, uh, yeah. E rocket. Ow! I don't know why, but that seemed appropriate. Okay, I used a little too many there, but. We'll do 15 in vitality. I like incrementing everything by 5. Uh, next goal will be 
We're going to up our strength to 20, and then uh, we'll feel good about ourselves. 78. 78 is pretty good. Could always be better. Uh, do I want to summon anybody? Not particularly. I don't need anybody for this next boss fight. I guess that's not entirely true, but I'm going to suck it up and deal with it. Okay. Yep. Okay. And... All right, right, look at that. All of that bypassed. Basically. Oh. More or less. Wait, did I... Oh, hold on. I fucked it up. I went the wrong way. But we'll kill these rats anyways because of possible humanity gains. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, out of stamina. I guess that's a good thing about getting all that endurance for, like, carrying armor is my stamina is also super huge. So I could basically just, like, chain combo the shit out of people. Which is useful. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Let's slide down the shortest ladder in the game. Okay. And we go down here. And... Yeah, let's let's fuck up some basilisks. Well, after we fuck up these guys. Not that I really need to, because it's kind of un unnecessary. These guys are just sort of in the way. Not really like a challenge or something you are forced to face at any one point in time. Okay. Uh, Alright. Whoa, there's another one. Good thing I spotted him before he uh, snuck up on me there. Okay. Whoa. And... Yeah, that is a lot of hits. Oh, hey, there's another slime there. Damn it. I've signed up for something I should not have. Green Titan Knight Shard. Good stuff. That's what I want. Green Titan Knights, Large Titan Knights. I think both of them drop from these guys, so... Killing them is more or less always worth it. Alright. Uh... Oh, 19. Not that great for the uh, stamina drain. Let's say it is a last hit, I guess. Uh, there's this guy over here. Let's go talk to him. I can't. I know he sells crystal equipment. Hmm. Okay. What do we got? Gold pine resin. Okay, so we can get gold pine resin from him. We might do that. We'll go kill a bunch of basilisks and then do that. Ah, that's where you get all of this stuff. Okay. Man, that is super fucking expensive, too. Armor of the Glorious. Yeah. I'm trying to think of any of this would be, like, decent Dragoon armor. Uh, so, Crystal Straight Sword. We don't really want that. Bottomless Box. Gold Pine Resin. Yeah, we'll just... We'll go see how many souls we end up getting and then uh, do that. Can we get him to come up to Fire Link? Let's see. Oh. Ah, well then. That probably is because you got a big honking mask on your face. Let's see. Can I open you? It's locked. Oh, this is the shortcut to... Okay, I see where that is. Never mind. Uh, we're not going to worry about that for now. And we got another drop over here, so let's go pick that up. After we kill the rat. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. Alright. Can you drop a humanity? No. More green tight night. Sweet. Alright, let's go fuck up some basilisks. We got like five minutes left in this episode. Should be enough time to just dominate. Or, you know, die miserably and turn to stone and get cursed and then cry about it, basically, for the rest of the day. Alright. Whoop. I hate getting cursed. It's the worst. It's it's funny, though, because, like, most of the mechanic I hate about it, um... It's like, I'm not too worried about collecting humanity or anything like that, but having your HP halved really sucks. And I'm learning that playing, um... Dark Souls 2, because now in Dark Souls 2, whenever you die, instead of just going hollow, you also have, like, a health penalty, and you go more and more hollow. And, uh, it blows ass, really, uh, because if you don't have a way to recover your humanity, then, uh, you're basically boned for quite a while. Alright, there we go, we're gonna stay away from the fog there, and, yeah, okay, that cleared up fairly quickly. And, hello, my least favorite part of the game. How are you? It's been a while. Whoa. Is there anything down there? Progressing very gradually. If we had fallen down uh, the one part up there in the, the maze area, we would have come down right there, which is how I found this place in the first part. And I was gripped with terror for quite some time. Oh, he's going to run over that way. A little skitter. All right. 
And he's probably going to find a way to get behind us and then totally fuck our day up. Okay. Oh, look, somebody got turned to stone there. Oh. Oh. Probably don't want to fight these guys in a hallway, but that's that's what I'm doing. Whoa. Okay. God, I hate being cursed. It's the worst. Whoa. Back up. <laughs> this may be a little uncomfortably close. Okay. I'm getting some curse there. Eye of Death. Okay. Not entirely sure what Eye of Death does. I don't, can't, I don't think I ever got one, even though I know it's a common drop. Like, hold on. Don't. There's phantoms from other worlds. Uh, I guess, you know, whatever. That's fine. Okay. And... Hmm... And we're gonna kill that. Hello. Hello. Is that the guy who ran across earlier? Yeah, come to me, please. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Oh, gonna run away now. So that stuff will kill you pretty much instantly. That's the other thing, is it wouldn't be so bad if, like, some of these attacks didn't just immediately curse you and basically one hit kill your ass. Like, that's the worst. I hate that. Okay. Oh, 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 I'm getting smarmy over here with this motherfucking business. I think he's going to run through there. I'm hopefully paying attention. Let's see if I can... Yes. Okay, then we roll away over here. Those two are dead. This one is still a problem. Okay, we're behind him. Ideal situation to be in. Okay. So, not so bad. Oh, oh. So much of the fear is gone whenever you know what to expect. For sure, for sure. Don't get me wrong. But it's still, like, it's tense just by association. You just, you know exactly how deadly these things are. And you know how fucked your day is going to be if you get killed by one of them. So, it doesn't necessarily completely diminish the entire, uh... Hey, that worked. Okay. I was a little surprised. Humanity. Alright. Oh, hey, hey. Ho, ho. Okay, you're dead. Please, let me clip through you. Okay. Oh, man. That was almost bad. Hey. You're a statue. And now I broke you. How fun. Alright. I guess this was completely... Alright, he's just gonna jump through the wall there, but that's fine. I killed him anyways. Um, yeah, I'm guessing that guy was the guy who was running after us after he tried to jump and spit a bunch of stone all over us and it didn't work. Alright, yeah. And that's Ring of the Evil Eye. I like Ring of the Evil Eye. We're gonna equip that. It's a good starter ring. It's better than Blue Tear Stone Ring, at least. At least whenever you're grinding uh, and all that fun. Okay. So I think that's it. I think that's all the Basilisks are now dead. We've gotten all the treasures down here. God, even the dead ones scare the shit out of me. I'm just like, no, don't be alive. Okay, good. I killed you earlier. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Alright. And I don't think there's any secret passageways down here. I can't remember. I'm not particularly good with uh, illusory walls and whatnot. Okay, so... Mm -mm. How do we get back up? That's the question at hand. Oh, yeah, okay. What's up, dude? Now you're gonna get hit by something after you drink an Estus. I know that story. Why did, did I just hear a crazy sound? It sounded like somebody going through a wall of light, basically. Okay, and then we've got 3,000 souls. That's enough for three golden pine resins. We're gonna buy that. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna go fight the boss in the next episode. So, so yeah, if you've been enjoying... Purchase item. Gold pie resin. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna run back to the bonfire. When we come back, I'll be approaching the, uh, the, the boss, who is terrifying, but not particularly difficult if you know where to stand, at least, and all that fun. Uh, so yeah, this has been Carbo Decoy playing Dark Souls. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah, I will see you next time. Have fun.